It's my feel good breakfast show. Now, back on our first day of the show, we have Andrea Duplessis, our vital expert here, to give us some advice on carrying out that healthy living New Year's resolution. It's all about a new year and new possibilities and a trend that is very hot at the moment, which I think can also be a perfect New Year's resolution, is clean eating. But what exactly is it? Well, we've got our vital expert here with us this morning to shed some light on this craze. Andrea Duplessis, it Hi. is awesome <laughs> to see you again. Hope you had a fantastic festive season, clearly stayed in shape and stayed healthy. This is a good trend and, and we're going to set a tone for the rest of the year. What is clean eating? Well, clean eating doesn't um, indicate that you're going to clean up after yourself after you've <laughs> cooked. But you still should. <laughs> yes. But clean eating really is really simple. It's eating foods in the most simple form possible. Oh. And it's an attempt to try and stay away from highly processed foods with all those additives, colorings, flavorings, unhealthy sauces, dressings, etc. Okay, and it is very easy to do. Everyone sells fantastic food at the moment. And of course, there are some things to help us along our way. So let's let's structure it as if it was your day, what yes. you're going to be eating throughout the day. And we've got to lay the platform with a good breakfast. That is a good solid breakfast. So what we have here is the vital original low GI muesli. You no know, low GI foods keep your appetite satisfied longer. Mm. It's good for diabetics as well. And what we've done here, they talk about the overnight oats. Um, mm. You in a jar or in a container or in a um, small bowl. I love the Overnight, vibe of the, you, yeah. you can leave the, the oats um, in either almond milk, coconut milk, or normal milk. Wow, um, and it soaks so up clever. all that, that moisture. And here I've topped it instead of adding sugar, some chopped um, pieces of dates. Aha, brilliant yes. source of natural sugar as well, and again, taking it in the whole food state. And you can see that's a nice big portion, so that is really a large breakfast portion. Mm, yeah, so, I, I would love that kind of start to the day, and I need that. I burn through my food so quickly, so that'll kind of regulate the blood sugar a little right. bit. I love it. Now let's move on to our main meal. Well, this as a main meal is really something um, that I love to eat. Some um, lightly sautéed or steamed spinach. Okay. This is um, gem squash. And this is served instead of your starch. So if you, you've already consumed lots of starch in the breakfast, okay. so here you want to eliminate that. And then here we've got some minced um, chicken that is um, uh, seasoned with fresh herbs, spices, etc. So nothing unnatural. Yeah. Um, and some tomato and some grated parmesan cheese I'm over that. You've opened my eyes with minced chicken. That's yes. something that I've never really thought of, but it does take a lot of the stress away from creating something that is well balanced, getting your protein in there nice and different. Absolutely love it. Now our hero food, we know the banana really does pack a nutrients punch. Um, how are you going to be taking it in? Mm. Well, you see, I'm quite active, so I need my carbohydrates, and mm. bananas also contain potassium. So exercising in this hot weather, your body needs the, the replacement nutrients. Mm. But I love eating banana as if it, as if it is a dessert. <laughs> so this can be a dessert or it can be a healthy snack. Here we have some yogurt with some cocoa powder or skinny hot chocolate powder mixed in. I think that's probably your best hack ever. You know that. It is my favourite. <laughs> so what you can do is you dip your banana pieces in the yogurt and that is a delicious snack to have. And a way of increasing your nutrient intake, calcium in the yogurt. So clean eating packs in nutritional value in a very simple format. Oh, and exciting. Yes. It's exciting. You really have presented some beautiful new takes on how we can get those nutrients into our body. And I love this. I think the kids would find this very um, palatable in their lunch boxes. That's right. Um, Andrea, great to have you back. Looking forward to a wonderful 2016. I can't believe it's here. Um, but thank you so much for joining us and all the best of luck for the new year. Thank you. You mentioned lunch boxes now. Very yeah. important point there. If you're into this clean eating um, principle, you have to also plan properly. So invest in a few lunch boxes because these foods can be put into um, Smaller containers, appropriate yeah. size containers. So you can take it to work, you can put it into your children's school lunch. Um, so no excuse not to eat proper normal food throughout the day. Oh, I love it. Well, you really have inspired us. And if you have any questions at home that you'd like to pose to Andrea, just head over to vital.coza and you can ask our vital expert any questions you might have regarding clean eating, nutrition in general. She is a tome of knowledge. The Vital Foundation will donate one rand from every pack of vital supplements purchased to victims of abuse. Healthy families, healthy homes. <laughs> 